Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving electrical charge and current. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that a bulb is switched on for 300 seconds with a current flowing through it of 0.5 amps. How much charge passes through the bulb? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the charge Q. We know that the current I is 0.5 amps and the time is 300 seconds. So we can write down our equation relating these three variables, which is Q equals IT, and substituting in the numbers now gives us 0.5 times 300, and putting that into your calculator gives an answer of 150 coulombs. Question two says that a small generator can produce a current of 0.5 milliamps. How long does it take to produce 20 coulombs of charge? Well, writing down what we know from the question this time, we know that time is what we're trying to find, charge Q is 20 coulombs and the current I is 0.5 milliamps but remember we need to convert from milliamps into amps so that is the same as 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. So writing down our equation now we have Q equals IT and rearranging for time we need to divide both sides by I so we get T equals Q over I and substituting in the numbers now gives us 20 divided by 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 and putting that into your calculator gives a final answer of 4 times 10 to the 4 seconds. Lastly, question 3 says that the charge on an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Part A says how many electrons have passed a point if the total charge is 60 coulombs? Well, what we need to do in this question is we need to take the total charge and divide it by the charge on one electron. So we've got our total charge there and our charge on one electron there. So writing this down, we have number of electrons equals the total charge divided by the charge on one electron, which is equal to the 60 from here divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 from here. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 3.75 times 10 to the power of 20. Now notice there's no units there because it's just a number of electrons. You could say electrons after that if you want to. And you'll also notice it's a very large number. Part B says if it takes 3 minutes to pass 60 coulombs, what current is flowing? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the current I. We know the charge Q is 60 coulombs and the time is equal to 3 minutes. But remember we don't use minutes in these calculations, we use seconds. So 3 times 60 gives us 180 seconds. And writing down the equation we have Q equals IT. Rearranging for I this time we divide both sides by T. So we get I equals Q over T. And substituting in the numbers we get 60 divided by 180. And if you put that into your calculator you should get an answer of 0.33 amps. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful, if you did give it a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.